if you're applying for the US visa in 2022, watch this. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. On today's episode, I'll be discussing how to book an early appointment date in 2022. And also, um, I'll be discussing the several issues that people have been facing in to apply for a US visa in 2022. Now, let's get into it. Ah, the last one year has been crazy in terms of um, trying to register um, on the US application portal or the appointment profile. So, um, what, we what we experienced last year was, you know, there was no... Um, early appointment date what we've been getting dates in 2024 2025 and obviously if you're trying to if you're planning to travel in 2021 or 2022 there's no way you would book a you know a date for 2024 2025 and that is why i'm making this video and before i proceed um, please kindly subscribe to this channel click on the notification icon that's the bell icon beside the subscription button so that every time i make a new post like this you're the first to catch it now let's get into it um since beginning of last year or in the last two years it's been pretty difficult you know trying to apply to the united states of america obviously it's one of the greatest countries in the world and so applying to the u.s has become much more difficult and the issue we've been facing or people have been facing in the last two years is there is no appointment date and without appointment date, there is no way you can apply to the united states or there's no way you can you know be interviewed once you can schedule an appointment date then you can now you know go for the interview so now um what we've seen in the last two years is um, dates ranging from 2023 to 2025. So what that means is this. Um, the earliest appointment date you can get is in 2024, 2025, which does not make sense. It does not make sense in the sense that um, if you're traveling, let's say uh, you want to travel in 2022, and the earliest date you can get is in 2024 or 2023. That means you have to wait till 2023, 2024 to get an appointment date. And this is why um, I'll be discussing everything you need to know, um, what, what led to all this, um, why this is happening. What is the major cause of this? Number one, COVID-19. Now, majority of the months in 2020 were, you know, they were locked down, which means people are not able to, you know, go out. And what that means is people that have booked appointment for that period of time, they had to reschedule. What this means is um, it creates like a form of scarcity. The second aspect is, Back in the days, um, American Embassy works virtually every day. With COVID-19 and all the problem it brings, they reduce the number of days they are working in a week. Technically, let's assume before um, they are able to take care of a thousand applicants in a week. Automatically, if you're working five days a week, for example, before, uh, you, you can take care of, say, 10,000 people. Now you're working twice a week. Automatically, the number of people that you'll be able to take care of or you'll be able to attend to would reduce to like probably 300 or 500. So that is what is happening. So secondly, they reduce the number of days they are working. And this has caused um, a kind of backlog from the backlog that has already been created by COVID-19. <laughs> so now, in order to get ahead, I made a video early this year telling people to, if you're planning to travel abroad, you need to start the application process immediately. In order to avoid all this, so the first thing you have to do is make sure you start your application process immediately. The second issue is this. So if you're filling the application, so um, the first thing you want to do is, once you buy, um, once you make payment for your visa fee, the first thing you do is to create, um, to fill the DS-160 form. So immediately you open the DS-160 form. You can ignore that for now, just create an appointment profile. And that's because, um, the earliest you can start looking out for the date, even while you're not even done with your uh, application, the better. Once you've created the appointment profile, the next thing you want to do is to start looking out for dates. So forget the fact that you're still filling um, the DS-160 form, you're not done with the application. Just start looking out for dates. That's the best way to, you know, to beat the competition. So in case you're planning to use expedited dates or um, emergency, I'm sorry, there's a slim chance that that will be um, approved. And that's because a lot of people are always already using the option so automatically most of like 99 percent of the um of that particular option will be rejected so there's no need wasting your lifeline except maybe if you're in dear need of that particular situation like if you need to book an appointment an emergency appointment if you have documents to back it up if it is like a if it is more like an health related issue yes you can use the option but if it is just i want to go to the u.s don't even bother using the emergency option. So another issue people have been facing is this. Um, they are wondering, uh, I want Lagos. Or some people tell you, I want Abuja. 
Now you have to be open. That's the, that's the only way to get an early appointment date. You have to be open. If it is Lagos, fine. If it is Abuja, fine. But just be open to any of the two options. So, so because if you if you limit yourself to just Lagos, for example, and there's an appointment date in Abuja, you'll be losing out. But if you are open to the two options, if you search for Lagos, you can get Lagos, you can switch to Abuja. That way, you stand a chance of, you know, getting an early appointment date. So another thing people don't understand is if you really want it, you have to work out for it. And that is why you need to be able to stay at odd hours looking out for dates. <laughs> Trust me, it is more like a game of survival of the fittest. So, which means you have to look out, you know, middle of the night, different times, just to be able to, you know, catch the early dates. Last option is um, if you're having issues doing all this, you need the help of a professional. I what do I mean by professional? You can look out for um, a professional travel agent to help you, you know, get an early appointment date because you would not be able to get it. And that's because you might not have time to, you know, sit on your laptop and start looking out for dates while for most of even if you're trying to look out for other options to get a date you might not know the best thing to do but if you have like an a trusted agent that can help you out with this you can also you know explore the option and lastly view of scammers again there are some things you need to know when you're applying for or when you're applying to the us number one nobody has the date andy nobody i'm saying this with all confidence so what they are doing is they are actually helping you to search for that date, to search for an early date. So if someone tells you, oh, I can give you a date in January, like January 15 or something like that, there's a high chance that that person is lying to you. So which means nobody has the date and they, everybody is just trying to search for the earliest possible date for you. So if someone is promising you like, oh, I promise you by next month, there's a high chance that this person is lying. But yes, it's possible for them to get it. But what I'm saying is this, um, nobody can give you an exact date. So if someone is telling you, oh, I'll get you a date next month or next week, you have to be aware. So, but again, if someone is giving like a time frame, oh, between now and say in the next three months, four months, six months, yes, there's a chance that, yeah, that person could get within those periods. But if people know you are desperate, right? And they would want to you know, give you something to just entice you. But um, I've seen people that will call me and say, ah, I want a date for next week. How is that even possible when the earliest date is in 2025? So what that means is um, if someone is promising like a next week date, trust me, there's a chance that this person is a scammer or this person is just trying to take your money. But if someone is promising you within a time frame, yes, you can work with that. And if you need help booking an appointment date, you can send me a personal message. I should, I might be able to help you out. And um, yeah, and there are some other organizations that, you know, might be able to help you out. And also, guys, beware of asking for ridiculous dates. Trust me, it is not easy. Like, you have a lot of people trying to book the same date. You, you can't be asking for a date of two weeks. In like, trust me, you just pay money and they might not be able to get these things to you. So you have to be open. That's the reality. Even if you are planning to travel in the next two months, you have to be open to in the next eight months. That's the reality. Because the more open you are, the higher the chance of someone getting you a date. Because... September, October last year, trust me, 2022 has been fully booked. In fact, people have been jumping to 2023. If you need help, you can send me a message. Um, if I'm able to help, fine. If I'm not, fine. But So if you're still having issues, please feel free to drop a comment in the comment section below. And uh, If you need help, you can send me a message on my um, Instagram. Guys, follow me on my uh, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, send me a message if you need help. I'll be more than happy to you know respond to all your questions um thanks for watching and if you're yet to subscribe please don't forget to subscribe now click on the subscription button please at least if you find this useful right click on the subscription button um also don't forget to click on the like button the more people that like it it helps this channel to grow that way more people get to see this content and at the end of the day i'll be able to make more helpful content so thanks for watching stay tuned see you next time bye